Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are here at the pond catching some free bait for catfishing. Uh, we're gonna be catching some bluegills, some shell crackers to use them as cat bait for catfishing. I'm going to go catfishing this weekend and I need some bait, so I'll be showing you how to, I do that and how easy it is to get your own bait. So let's get into this video. All right guys, this is the setup we have. We've got a really small hook and a bobber. We're gonna be using worms. I'm using just a piece of worm. I got the Google Squad Light Center Green Googies. I don't know how they call them, but you know how Google Squad do have the crazy names. All right, guys, let's catch ourselves some bluegills. So some decent side bluegills over here. Last time I was here, I saw, I saw big bluegills over here. So I don't know if they're here right now. It's raining, but you know, it's just water, so we should be fine. Seems like when it starts raining, they just disappear, but it's probably like me not be able to see them. They're probably still there. I just can't see them. Uh, I think one took it. Yeah, that's one. All right, so that's our first fish right there. It's not what we're looking for. Definitely not what we're looking for. This tiny bluegill, but I'll take it for the first fish. Uh, we're gonna be keeping a few of these for catfish bait, uh, I'm gonna be using cot bait. So that one should be fine to keep. There we go. Ah, that's a little one. That's a little one. That's that's too small. There you go. See, it's a little tiny bluegill. It's going back. So now we're getting a bite again. Got him. There you go. Just another little tiny bluegill. There we go. Stop. Little bluegill going back. Oh, that's a good size. I'm, that's a decent size right there. Decent size bluegill, guys. See, that's what we're looking for for bait. As far as bait goes, that's what we're looking for. Yeah, it's gonna be a second bait right there. See. I'm gonna be keeping this one. This is pretty much how you catch some bait. This is how you get your free bait. I mean, obviously you need worms, but I mean, you got worms at Walmart, but you can get them yourself, you know, from your backyard and catch some free bait for catfishing. I caught my finger at work today, so it's thriving. Uh, but we are here fishing, guys. Right. There we go. See, I saw that one coming for it. It's just that easy, guys. You can catch a bunch of bluegills. This type of fishing is so cool. See, this is, I think this is a red ear. Yeah, this is a red ear, but the, the this is a red ear, but the ears are not super red. They're kind of orange, to be honest with you. So I saw this one coming for it. So, try to grab it. There you go, guys. So it's going back. Now, I know those bluegills are not big, I mean, not huge, uh, but over here in this small pond, they don't get too big. Whoa, got one on the drop. All right, good size right there. Yeah, that one got it on the drop. Yo guys, catching bluegills is so easy. 
Now you want to set that hook right away because you don't want them to swallow that hook. And if you worry about then swallowing the hook, you need to use a bigger hook. Uh, that's why I'm, I only use these little hooks when I'm side casting, when I'm actually seeing bite it. This one got it on the drop. That's a good size. It's that easy, guys. That one got it right on the drop. Nah. Yep, got him. Got a little one. It's not expecting to catch this one. I was looking for the big one right next to it. Oh lord. There you go, guys. I was looking at the little, uh, the bigger one next to it, and he completely ignored it. And this little one came out of nowhere and got it. There he goes. It's gonna start raining again. That's not good. That's what we got. The rain is picking up again, which is not good, but I mean, we already have the bait that we need, but I really want to catch some of those big bluegills I've been looking at. Uh, with the rain hitting the surface of the water, it's difficult to see him though. See, it's coming for, it's coming for, I see him. Got him. Just like that. It's that simple, guys. You can definitely load up on bluegills now unfortunately these bluegills are too small to eat but they're definitely delicious fish if you catch the bigger one this is like the most common size out here so i see him coming for it i think i got a bite yeah there we go that's a little bit of better size right there. That's a little bit better. Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, I was gonna keep that fish. Got him. Got him. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. See, this is a nice bluegill, guys. This is a shell cracker, I think. Or a pumpkin seed, it's something different. This is what I've been looking at right there. It's, I mean, for this pond, this fish right here, it's a nice fish, guys. Nice fish. So, see, right on the side of the mouth, you guys can see that fish right there. See, this is a shell cracker. They call it shell cracker. It has that red ear and the eyes red right there. This is a decent sized fish, guys. There we go. There you go, guys. This is how you catch your free bait. That's a great bait right there, guys. I think I'm gonna keep this guy. This will be the last one I'll be keeping as bait. Uh, these are good to eat once you get a big, bigger size, but for this pond right here, this is how you do it. You, I'm literally side fishing this fish. I'm going for the bigger ones I can see, and then I'm casting right in front of them. So, like I said, I'm using a really tiny hook right there with a little worm and a bobber. That's what I need. So, this is going back. All right, that's enough bait, but we're gonna keep uh, looking for this fish. I'm sight casting. I mean, I can see him down there. And I'm sight casting for them. Okay, so we made it to the second spot right here. This is a little creek, the little spillway. Uh, comes out from the main lake. And over here, you can catch a bunch of green sunfish. Those are great for live bait. Uh, today, we're not gonna keep him for live bait, but we usually wanna fish for flathead. I like to use the green sunfish. They're, they're pretty much flathead candy. Uh, 
This little creek right here is loaded with fish, guys. Loaded with fish. And we're doing the same thing. Uh, we're gonna see what we can catch over there. So I'm using the same setup, just a little warm. And my uh, my little barber right there. I lost the other barber um, coming on this spot right here. But we'll see. We'll see what kind of fish is living over here. Yeah, we got a bait. We got the first fish, guys. Yeah. That's a huge, huge, huge sun green fish. Look at how big, man, this is, this is perfect bait for flathead. Look how beautiful the colors are. This is one of the biggest one I caught over here. All right, guys, this is what I was talking about right here. This is a uh, green sunfish. Look how beautiful colors he got right there. Uh, this is actually a great size. This would be perfect for light bait. Uh, for a big flathead, this would be amazing, guys. They don't get as uh, they don't get too big. This is probably a medium size, especially for this little creek right here. So this is a good fish right here, though. So I'm gonna release him. So yeah, <clears throat> as I was telling you guys, creeks like this, they tend to have those green sunfish. They like to hide between the rocks and stuff. So you guys saw that big one. That's great, great bait for oh miss a bite right now that those are great bait for uh, flathead like i said i'm not keeping those today i just want to show you that you can catch that bait as well see cool thing is that this little creek is loaded with those fish guys Load it, see? We got another one. So I'm telling you guys, these are perfect for flathead fishing. So look how beautiful they are though. So if you want to do cot bait, you can use bluegill. You can use this as cot bait, but I, I, it seems that bluegill works better for cot bait. And this one, I like to fish in live, so. This is where I come and get my live bait right here. So you wanna look for a creek that got a lot of rocks where they can hide and stuff and this flow of water. So usually all of the little creeks where well, there's a bunch of rocks on the bottom, there's a bunch of rocks right there, the rocks like that, they're all over here. So they just hide between the rocks and they ambush everything they see coming by with the current. Since I'm not keeping this fish, I really don't wanna go hook him. So I went up on the size of my hook. This is actually the hook that comes for the uh trap magnet kit but the little the little one so so we did that's all we got right there see so again really easy to catch this fish and this creek is loaded guys i can sit here for a few minutes and catch, you know, a couple dozens of those and be ready for flathead uh, fishing. Yeah, there we go. There's another one right there. Oh, this is actually, no, yeah, that's another one right there. So it's loaded, guys. This, this little creek is loaded with this. See, this one is about to spawn, I think. So, there he goes. So it's that simple, guys. So you gotta find the right spot uh, to get this fish. So it seems like you can catch one pretty much every cast. Pretty much every cast you probably can get one. Um, and like a little barber, just let it sit there. See, I got a bite right there. Yeah, got him. See. That's a little one, that's too tiny. That's too tiny, but see? It's the same thing, guys. They just, it's just loaded with them here. It's loaded. Are we gonna go down here? So see where I put my bait right there? There's not a lot of rocks, right? So most likely I won't catch one there. So they are hiding beneath the rocks. 
if you want to catch those you want to be close to the rocks so i'm gonna bring my 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 barber my bait closer to that rock right there and i guarantee you it's gonna be a bite right there see like i told you right there that was a good bite right there got him see it's one after another one guys really easy to catch this fish and like i said this right here you can't beat a, a, a green sunfish as bait for flatheads. You cannot beat that. This fish, they're so hardy. They stay alive for a long time. All right, guys, I hope you learned something today. Uh, how to catch your own bait using worms. It's really, really easy, guys. You don't have to buy cut bait. You don't have to buy live bait. You can catch your own. So we cut a bunch of bluegills that we're gonna be used as cut bait. And we cut a bunch of green sunfish that you can use for flathead. Uh, we didn't keep any today because I'm not going flathead fishing anytime soon. And you wanna keep them live, obviously. Uh, but you can catch them really easy that way. So all you need is your worms. Obviously I'm using the Google Squat worms because they're the best, right? And um, that's it guys, small hook, barber. Really simple, really easy. You just gotta find the place where they're at and catch your own bait, guys. Don't buy any more bait, guys. Don't buy any live bait, don't buy any cut bait. You can catch your own and you have fun doing that. With that said, guys, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit like, comment, share. You guys know how it works, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. If you like this video, check out these other videos I have right here on my library and I hope you enjoy them.